Oh, I look like Skip running today, but anyway, this one's just going to be a quick video on the um, audio, transmit audio, basically, differences in some of the tram D201s, D201As. Um, just a quick vid on the um, couple of the locations of a little... Um, negative feedback resistor and a cathode bias resistor where some have it and some don't uh, let me get a pointer here if you see this little uh, brown resistor right here that is in the cathode bias circuit in yellow here coming from pin 8 of the um, audio power final tube from some tram D201s and you see it uh, in yellow marked as uh, R640 right there uh, 82 ohm 1 watt resistor which you can uh, see there to the left of the tube socket and then if you notice on this uh, newer tram here or a later model it does not have that resistor it's just got a piece of wire right here going across uh, in place of that resistor that's factory all of this is factory not modded and if you look at the schematic here on this uh, newer model this is a A it's just a straight line coming down no resistor so schematic over here pin 8 straight line and it's just got that uh, jumper in place and over here you can see the um, 82 ohm 1 watt resistor um, what I do because I like audio is I bypass that resistor so in this one I'm gonna take that resistor out and put a wire in like there is on this one to bypass it but also there's another difference if you see right under the tube this old uh, half watt resistor here brown black green so one mega ohm that's a negative feedback resistor it cuts down on the audio uh, coming out of the final tube it takes uh, some of the audio coming out and puts negative voltage going into it so it basically cuts down the audio output of the final tube but if you look over here again you will see this one that had the cathode resistor does not have that negative feedback resistor there's no holes and no place for it basically so um, what I guess tram did is in the older versions some of them not all of them have uh, either one but some of them have this um, cathode bias resistor to cut down the audio and some of them have that negative feedback resistor there and also on the schematics you can see above the tube here in yellow that 1 meg R651 negative feedback resistor and this is the newer one that has that in the circuit and then over here with the one with the um, cathode bias resistor you can see there's no negative feedback resistor there so one has that one one has that one and then some of them have neither or, neither or neither I've never seen one with both but if you want the uh, max audio out of a tram D201 or A and from the factory some of them have neither so if you have the one here, the cathode one, you want to jumper it. If you have the negative feedback one, you just want to remove it or clip it. And again, some factory models have neither one. So you're not really modding it. You're taking it back to uh, some of the earlier factory designs where um, one is jumpered and... Uh, that R651 should be removed 
and that R640 which is that one some have it and some don't should be taken out and jumpered or leave it in and jumper it but either way if you do that you'll like it you'll get um, a lot more audio out of your tram D201 or A all right that's all I, well one more thing right quick this is the inner lock when you open the cover somebody put a little piece of rubber in this one so when you open the cover that cuts off the power um, that's just a safety inner lock to keep people from uh, putting their hands in it while the um, radio is on um, but on the newer models that inner lock is actually up there it's hard to see and this screw that holds down the cover um, that when you screw it down it engages the inner lock and activates the radio so um, you either have to have the screw in it or the cover with the screw in it but either way you have to have the screw uh, screwed down for this radio to come on with the cover um, off or even with it on you have to have that screw in it unless you bypass the inner lock um, that's been tricky for some people they get a, a radio and it doesn't have the screw in it and they're like uh, I can't get that thing to come on you know with the cover off it's like well okay you didn't know that they moved that interlock to up there but the newer ones the interlock is there needs to screw in it and the older ones were here and people just um, put something in there to keep the switch over there um, to the left side which basically keeps it on all the time if you want to run the uh, radio with the cover off or with the radio um, uh, with the cover open okay that's gonna be it for this one actually this one's not mine it's a customer it looks nice doesn't it and I offered the guy some money for it but he didn't want to sell it I offered him six and he said he turned down eight so if you ain't gonna offer the guy a thousand or more I wouldn't even ask so don't ask me anyway that's it for this one this one by the way works great too I'm working on this one alright that's it for this one bye